Hi there, guys, and welcome to another episode of The Uncar Show. Now, today, I'm afraid I'm not going to be talking to a guest on today's show. Yeah, I know, it's terrible. You're just going to have to be listening to me today. Now, I might not have an actual guest on the show who's an actual person, but you could say my guest is some game-changing features in Unraid that you'll be seeing in Unraid 7, of which the RC1 has just been released, so now you can do everything that we're going to be talking about on today's show yourself at home. Now, in my opinion, this new feature is unlike anything we've ever seen before in any home or small office server OS before. So, if you've ever wanted secure remote access to your server, without the headache of like port forwarding and that kind of thing, or if you're just curious about how you can actually isolate specific Docker containers with individual networking, well, this episode is just for you. So if you watched my last video with Alex Kretschmar, who's the head of developer relations over at Tailscale, you'll know that Unraid have recently partnered with Tailscale. You didn't know that? Well, I did announce it in the last video, so here's me from the past, just to give you a recap. I've got something very exciting for all of the audience listening that I can announce on the show today. And this is the first place that you're going to be hearing it. Tailscale is officially coming to Unraid and is going to be built right into the OS. The team's been working with Derek Kayser, who's the author of the Unraid plugin, to basically make that happen and have it become part of the OS. Now, I know some of our listeners, Alex, they might not be familiar with Tailscale or why it's such a game changer. So Alex, could you start by explaining what Tailscale actually is and why it's so important for us kind of home server enthusiasts and home labbers, et cetera? Yeah, well, for those of you that are listening that don't know, I, I cut my teeth on... on... Right. Anyway, if you haven't seen that video yet, why don't you check it out? Alex is not only involved with Tailscale, but he's also one of the super knowledgeable hosts of the self-hosted podcast. And as well as that, a founding member of Linux Server IO. Oh yeah, and did I say he's a super nice guy to boot as well? Well, of course he is, isn't he? He's a fellow Brit. Anyway, as I was saying before, this is the first time a NAS or home server OS has integrated Tailscale this deeply. It's not just a feature, it's a partnership that puts secure networking at the heart of Unraid. Unraid integrates Tailscale not only into the base OS itself, but now you can also integrate Tailscale into any Docker container you currently have or install in the future with just a click of a few buttons in the Docker template. Now, you can probably tell I'm really excited about this. It's just so super cool. But I've got to remember that some of you watching, you may not know exactly what Tailscale is. And if you do know what it is and you use it already, you may wonder if you've got it on the server itself, why would you actually want to install it into individual Docker containers as well? Anyway, let's start with what actually Tailscale is. So Tailscale, it's a modern secure networking tool that creates a private encrypted mesh network between your devices. Think of it as a way to connect all of your devices securely, no matter where they are, without complicated setups like VPNs or having to keep track of your IP address and no port forwarding. It just works. So I mentioned a mesh network. So, you know, what is a mesh network? Well, devices on tail scale, they form direct connections with each other, no matter where they are, at home, at a coffee shop, or anywhere across the world. So it's basically like having your own LAN expanded anywhere to a place where you can receive internet. Pretty cool, hey? And as well as that, it uses something called zero trust. And what's that? Well, in basic terms, only devices you authorize can connect to it, so it keeps your devices and data secure. And as I've been mentioning, another really cool thing about Tailscale is just ease of use. You know, forget manual configurations, Tailscale, it handles everything for you. So it's a perfect fit for us Unraiders. Now, for those of you who kind of wonder what's under the hood of Tailscale, it's basically WireGuard. So what Tailscale does is it makes the actual introduction connections, you could call it, to the devices. And then those two devices, they make a direct WireGuard connection to each other wherever possible. Now, I'd say probably about 90% of the time, these direct connections are possible. But there are certain networking conditions where a direct connection might not be possible, where maybe both sides are behind carrier-grade NAT, or both sides are double NATed. Some unusual situation, 
Well, then what Tailscale will do is use what's called a derp server, where it routes the traffic through one of Tailscale's own servers. But all of this is encrypted as it goes through, so even Tailscale can't see it. And in these unusual situations, your traffic will be routed through a derp server. But what this does is it makes sure that 100% of the time you will have connections with your devices. So just to recap, what Tailscale will do is it will try its hardest to make direct connections with all devices. It always wants that as the first priority. And if it can't do that, then it will use a derp server. So all Tailscale does is initiate the connections between the two devices. And this is just to get around any networking issues. And that's why we don't have to do things like port forwarding or tracking our IP. OK, so that's what Tailscale is. It's a way for us to securely and easily connect our devices together. So the next question is, why do we want to do this? So what's in it for us on Raiders? Well, obviously, there's the two use cases, one, the integrated server integration, and one being able to integrate Tailscale into individual Docker containers. Now, let's start with integration into the server itself. So as soon as we install the official Unray plugin and configure it on our servers, our server then joins what's called our tailnet. So what is a tailnet? Well, basically, this is our virtual LAN. It's our mesh network that I was talking about earlier. And Tailscale basically call this a tailnet. It's basically a virtual LAN. OK, so the most obvious use case for this would be to access our server remotely. We can log into the web UI. We can start up Docker containers. We can shut them down. We can install containers, VMs, everything that we could at home. We can even stop the Docker service, stop the array. We can do all of that. Now, you might remember there was a Docker container for Tailscale. Now, this is actually different to the actual Docker integration that I'm going to be talking about in a moment. There used to be, well, there still is, in fact, a actual Docker container for Tailscale that allows us to access our server using Tailscale. Now, it's not as good as the official plugin, I have to be honest. It's not as good because basically it's harder to set up. And also, what happens if you stop the Docker service? Well, if Tailscale is running in the Docker service, you'll lose access to your server. With the official plugin, you can do everything. You can start the server, stop the server, start the array, stop the array. You can do everything you could as if you're at home. So that's why it's better. Now, if you've previously installed and used the Dockerized version of Tailscale, well, it did its job at the time. And I'd like to thank the author who actually made that. But I'd suggest going forward, you uninstall it and use the official Unraid version, use the plugin version going forward, because the integration is so much more highly integrated and it's just better in 2024. So why else would you want to use Tailscale on your server? What other use cases can we think of? Well, we can actually link two different servers together in different locations. You know, why would we want to do that? Well, we can actually do backups. Well, we could use rsync and do an rsync backup across the internet over Tailscale securely to another trusted server elsewhere. We could do the same with CFS replication. We could do a backup that way. Um, but let's think of something else. We could also, I guess, we could actually use a server somewhere as a CCTV kind of backup location, or well, not a backup location, we can actually record directly from some cameras, say we had like a business, we had like a small store, we could have CCTV cameras there. And then we could actually use Tailscale to actually link back to our Unraid server at home, and we could record the footage at home. So I guess then if any bad guys broke into the shop, they can't smash the CCTV system and get rid of the footage. Now, I haven't tried that myself. So, you know, I can't tell you how to do it, but it's for sure possible. Anyway, how about things that are a bit easier to do? What else can we do using Tailscale on our server at home? Well, we can do something called subnet routing. And in one of my Space Invader 1 videos, I showed how to set that up. So what it is, is basically with subnet routing, we can through Tailscale, allow devices to be able to access the whole of our LAN at home. Or we can choose certain ranges of the LAN to be able to be accessed. So say I wanted to be able to access my, say, my router at home through Tailscale on the server. If I did subnet routing, I could go to 
dot one and access my router over Tailscale as well as just the server. So subnet routing, that's another pretty cool thing. And something else we can do is we can use something that's called an exit node. Now I'm sure a lot of you out there have used a kind of commercial VPN service like private internet access, Mulvad, that kind of thing. So what they do is they exit all of the internet out of a node. So you call that an exit node. So what we can do is we can do the same at home. So we can set up an exit node and then when we connect to our tailnet, we can say we want to use this exit node and all of our internet will go through our house. So on my server behind me there, I've got Tailscale running and when I go away, I can actually access everything in the house through subnet routing. But using the exit node, I can also basically have my home IP address. So if I want to go abroad and I want to watch, say, iPlayer, um, which is the BBC, which is like a local TV channel over here, um, you can't watch it outside of the UK, but because I'm routing all of my traffic through my home IP address, then I can watch it. So it gets around um, geo restrictions like that. Um, also, you know, if I go away and I want to access my bank, say I go across to the USA, if I try and access my banking website or apps, it doesn't like it. It kind of thinks, you know, what am I doing in the USA? Am I trying to kind of hack my bank? And it won't let me. So using the Tailscale Exit node, it thinks I'm at home here in the UK and I have no problem accessing my bank. So exit nodes, pretty cool. And talking of exit nodes, we can also use a travel router and we can put Tailscale on that and then connect that back to our Unraid server, to our exit nodes if we're using it and to subnet routing. So I'm not sure if you've ever seen one of these before. It's an AX3000 and later in this video, I'll show you how to set it up, install Tailscale on that, and then we can use that to actually connect to our Unraid server at home or anything on our tailnet. So again, with the travel router, what's pretty cool about it is you can connect it to any Wi-Fi. So I'm not sure if you've been to a hotel before and you have these kind of portals that you have to go into and you kind of put in a username and password and you might pay for a certain amount of time for a certain amount of devices. So whilst you're at the hotel, say for a week, you'll pay X amount of dollars and that will give you access for one device. Well, here's your one device, okay? And then you connect all of the other devices that you've got that your family might have. So the kids might have their phones, tablets, and it shares that internet. So you don't have to pay for additional ones for each one of the family. So it's pretty cool. And as well, because the router is connected to Tailscale, we can connect to devices on our Tailnet. That can be Docker containers or the server itself. So talking of Docker containers, this is what I think is the really, really, really big deal, the real game changer that has come to Unraid recently. It is just really pretty amazing. And like I keep saying, I don't think there's been anything else like this at all. This really is a world first. Now, for those of you who are listening to the audio version of this podcast, now would be a good time to switch over and continue following along on YouTube because I'm going to be sharing my screen quite a lot. And without the context of seeing that, what I'm saying, it may well not make sense. But anyway, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, let's continue. So let me talk about how Unraid lets us easily install Tailscale directly into individual specific Docker containers. So you might be thinking, why would you want to do this? We can, all, we can always access Unraid through its web UI and then access containers that way. But that's only half the story. When we integrate Tailscale directly into a container, we can just do so much more. For example, let's take Jellyfin, for instance. Well, so many people with Jellyfin, you see them just open port 8096 on their router and point it to their Unraid server. It's not really very secure. Um, a lot of people, they don't even use a reverse proxy. But using Tailscale directly into Jellyfin, we can have the Jellyfin container have its own IP address and even its own fully qualified domain name. So it could be jellyfin.mytailnet.ts.net. 
And that's with a full SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt, so it's totally secure. Now, as well, it's not accessible to anyone who isn't a member of your tailnet. So what you can do for friends and family is you can, from Tailscale, send them a link, send them a message via email, and it lets them join your tailnet. And then they can access Jellyfin as well. So it's a totally private way of accessing your media server via a direct WireGuard connection using Tailscale between your friends and family. So it's really, really cool. And also, because it's directly in the container, they can't access your server at all. They can't access your web UI. They can't access your shares. You are just giving them permission to access just that container. Now, you may have seen my recent video on Space Invader 1 YouTube channel where I show you how to install a Steam headless container. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, that allows you to play video games via Steam on a headless server. So it doesn't have basically the screen showing, but it passes through a GPU to the Docker container. And then somewhere else in your LAN, like in your house, you can play the game. I do it on my NVIDIA Shield in the bedroom, so I can just sit in bed and play my video games. But if you integrate Tailscale into that Docker container, well, we can then play our Steam library on any device from anywhere in the world. So long as it's got a decent internet connection, obviously. Now, something else, a lot of people, they use Pi-hole. Well, Pi-hole's great for blocking ads, but when you leave the house, you can't use it anymore because obviously it's running in the house and you wouldn't want to expose it to the internet. But if you install Pi-hole and then you install Tailscale into Pi-hole, you can then give that container on your tailnet to friends and family, and then they're going to have no ads as well. It will all be done through your Pi-hole container. But as well, put it on your own laptop and wherever you go, you're going to have no ads. Now, another container I really like is one called Forget. Now, Forget is a self-hosted search engine. Um, it's really nice for privacy. So if you install Tailscale into that, well, we can actually set that as our default search engine on our browser. And because it's connected to Tailscale, wherever we go in the world, we can have our private browser with our search engine that way. And obviously, another thing, game servers. Um, I know a lot of you guys out there, you like running things like Minecraft servers, Ark Survival servers. Um, I don't run any, so you know I couldn't tell you which ones are good, etc. But it means that you can actually share them with your friends, your own servers um, on your tailnet by integrating the actual tail scale into these Docker containers. Anyway, I'm not going to talk too much about it because there is a section of this video where we're going to go into a lot more depth. This is just basically an overview. So I really think that Unraid 7 and Tailscale integration is a game changer. And I think let's just start and have a look at it on the server first. Um, let's see how to install it on the Unraid server, and then we'll go on to looking at Docker containers. Okay, so end of the introduction. I'm going to go across to my other server now. And so for those of you guys watching this as the first part in the series, thanks for watching. And I really hope you can join me in the second part where we're going to be deep diving into integrating Tailscale directly into the Unraid server. We're going to be looking at subnet routing, exit nodes, and all of that good stuff.